And no, that title is not clickbait. I really am going to be lighting my thrift haul on fire. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ooh, she melty. Ooh. Ooh, that smells like a, like a chicken nugget. But just little pieces of it. That's a scientific test, so maybe it was clickbait after all. Hi, welcome back. I'm Kate, and this is my fabric stash, made up entirely of thrift store finds. In an effort to keep my sewing habit cheap and sustainable, I've sourced most of my materials from my own closet or from thrift stores. I make a lot of projects out of bed sheets. You know what the fiber content is because of the tags on it. Unfortunately, in my thrifting, I have found many mystery fabrics of unknown fiber content and unknown origin. So today, I'm testing out a brand new skill to try and identify what some of these are in the hopes that they will not be plastic. Polyester is the worst. The worst. I learned a little bit about identifying fiber content from American Duchess's video. Am I an American Duchess stan? Maybe. But the basics of what that taught me are there are two major categories with further subcategories. The man-made and the natural. We'll start by looking at our favorite, the natural fibers. Within that you have protein-based fibers, which are going to be your wools or your silks, and then the plant-based fabric, which are going to be your linen, your cotton, things of that nature. And then within the man-made you have plastic fabrics. Anything petroleum-based, so generally speaking polyester, stretchy fabrics, a lot of the modern stuff you run into. You also have plant-based synthetic fibers like rayon, which actually a paper-based fiber that's really soft and cotton-like but usually a bit finer and more drapey. You can determine at least in part what might be in your fabrics by setting them on fire very very carefully. A little disclaimer here, fire is very dangerous. Be very careful if you're gonna follow along. I know this from personal experience because everything I own burned down in a fire. It was a wildfire so it was not fabric related. Be careful. In an effort to prepare I have come equipped with a fire extinguisher and I have read the instructions. For the protein-based fibers, they have the scent of burning proteins. It smells like burning hair, or a little bit like eau de wet dog. Another thing you'll find is that they resist catching on fire as much as possible. They will burn when the flame is directly on them, but generally speaking, it won't catch and light. For your plant-based fibers, it's going to be harder to determine whether they're man-made or natural. Generally speaking, they're going to light up a little bit like paper, burn fairly quickly, and leave a little bit of ashy residue behind. And you'll know it's plastic if it just melts. It gets real hard hard and crumbly and beady at the edges, it's gonna smell terrible, it's gonna bead, and if it's mixed fiber, you will run into a combination of these. That's the basic rundown of how I will be determining these fibers, with the caveat that I will also be doing some bleach testing on fibers that I think might be protein-based, because when you submerge protein-based fibers in bleach, they get eaten away in a chemical reaction, and so the proteins basically dissolve over time, leaving you with nothing if it's fully protein-based, or with the residues of the non-protein-based fibers. And that should be an interesting experiment. I'm sure I'm making Bill Nye proud. Let's make like the Elmo meme and burn. I have a tiny piece of silk, a cotton bed sheet, a thrifted piece of wool that still had the tags attached so it says it's 100% wool, and a piece of linen cut from a skirt that I was altering. I also have a sample of mixed fiber which is 30% cotton and 70% polyester. It's time to light this sucker up! Alright, so first burn test, 100% cotton bed sheet. So theoretically we know what this is. That turned into burning mush, went up right away. Confirmed, cotton. I want to compare that to 30% cotton, 70% polyester. Ooh, ooh, she melty. Ooh, 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 that's gross, that's awful. Oh, it smells horrible, and it basically wrinkled and melted. It's gross. So this I got at the thrift store, but the tag on it from Fabriland said it was 100% wool, so we'll see. Fabriland. Or not animal hair, it's just <laughs> like burning hair. Ooh. Okay, so wool's supposed to resist burning. So it does kind of stop as soon as I take it out of the flame. It's fantastic. And it does smell like burning toenails. Yeah, no. I thought it was beating up and getting crunchy, but as soon as you touch it, it turns into ash, so I guess it is 100% wool. Awesome. Ooh, that smells like a like a chicken nugget or something. <laughs> <laughs> Real dainty with the silk from a thrifted silk bathrobe that I actually use as a bathrobe, so I cut this out of the pocket. This should also smell like burning hair, in theory. Yeah, crispy hair. Not, not, not as... It, it's different than the wool. This is a gentler, like, 
hair and wood fire and it's got a crunchiness to it. Just a really bad afternoon camping. Boy, I'm just getting a like an odor of burned hair over here. Now it's time for linen, so this should, I think, go up pretty quickly. Ooh, that's a real sustained flame there. Yeah, that smells, as far as the burning stuff has gone, that's one of the more pleasanter camper. It smells sweet, so it smells like burning hay. Hmm. Interesting. Do you smell? Oh yeah. It's actually it kind of lovely. like campfire. Yeah. So it kind of like burned part of it off, but you can still see a lot of the weave left in it even after it's burned. This is our plastic. 100% polyester sateen ribbon from the dollar store <laughs> to trim my uh, placemat hat with. Oh yeah, she melty. Oh, that smells bad. I shouldn't have sniffed that. <laughs> yeah, it didn't catch, just immediately melted. That's all plastic. That's gross. My last control test is that wool and silk are supposed to smell a little bit like burning human hair, so we're gonna burn some human hair. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. She crunchy. It smells like... She's stinky. It smells like burning <laughs> human hair. <laughs> it's crumbly, it crunches, but then falls apart. That is a distinct smell. Yeah. And now we get to try and determine what the heck these babies are. Very light thin fabric. It's either silk or polyester. What's your, what's your best guess? Let me feel. I'm gonna vote for for polyester, polyester. on this red one because yeah. it's it's not the smooth softness of silk. Yeah. Okay. Well, immediately melting, definitely. I would guess 100% polyester. That looks like the sateen ribbon. We have purple thrift store mystery fabric. It's very similar in consistency. It's a little bit finer, so I do wonder if maybe that's really fine cotton, or maybe... I have trouble believing that's silk, but it feels nicer than the polyester. Maybe it's a blend. Maybe it's a blend. We'll yeah. It's pretty. I'm really intrigued. Yeah, I want to make like a Regency dress out of this because it's so light and fine. It would be very floaty. Um, please don't be polyester. Oh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is this silk? I thought that was polyester at first. That's a... Mm, mm. I bet it's a blend. Because that went up really quick. And this hard stuff doesn't feel plasticky. This might be silk. I might have to do a bleach test. But yeah, undetermined. I'm going to burn it one more time for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and because okay. you like fire. I don't know. It smells more campfire-y to me than plasticky. I'm going to be like highly impressed if it's silk. Me smell? It is campfire -ish. They're a tablecloth from the thrift store. A thick weave, kind of like it wants to be linen. It would be so lovely if it was. Might be cotton. We'll see. Could have polyester in there. What do you think? Mm. Maybe linen? There was polyester thread binding the sides, so that makes me wonder if there's polyester inside the fabric, too. Oh. Uh. Campfire? Smells campfire with a hint of grandma's house. <laughs> there's kind of a floral perfume to it that doesn't smell quite a... The edges are kind of crispy. I think it's more natural fiber than I thought it was, but I do think there's a little polyester in there. Let's, uh, it's not as crunchy as the 70% polyester, but it's not as fall apart-y as pure cotton. I looked it up and this is a, a man-made fiber. I want to say rayon. So I think this is a man-made plant-based fiber, so it should go up like cotton. Yep. Aim for the base of the flames. <laughs> <laughs> that smells pretty, pretty natural. Yep, very crispy, crispy and ashy. All right, very smoky, like very the other smoky. cotton. IKEA duvet cover is 100% cotton based on the tags, but let's burn it anyways. Oh yeah, that's cottony. Cotton really goes up like paper. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it is plant fiber like paper. So here's another one. I would like to think this grayish mystery fabric that is very soft. Hmm. In my dreams, it's wool. In reality, it's probably some portion polyester. Want to give it a feel? That's your. It's the teensy bit, bit rough. It feels a little bit smoother than the actual wool sample, but we'll we'll give it a go. I got this for like three bucks. So if this is wool, it's probably like three yards. I got three yards of wool for three dollars. I think that's a good deal. Ooh, okay, it's refusing to burn. It smells like hair. It's beating up at the edges. Let's see if it's cool. Ooh, is she crunchy? <gasps> Ooh, I think nice. it's wool. Oh, that's exciting. And it's pretty. It's really pretty. This one, if there's enough of it, I think I want to make a Regency to modern coat. Nice. We'll see. Oh, I'm really excited that that's wool. Sparkly, it's either I've hit a pond silver thread at the thrift store or that's plastic with maybe some cotton woven in. 
What are your what, thoughts? Is it a curtain, a top? What is it? No, this is actually just fabric. Huh. Rest in peace, Thrift Town. It closed down during the pandemic, but hmm. all of my best fabrics. The wool was from Thrift Town. This is from Thrift Town. Hmm. Oh, that's a famous thrift store. Yes, the one from Ladybird. It is. Ooh, oh yeah, she lighting up. A lot of cotton in there. Got the nice campfire smell. It's falling apart quite a bit. So there's definitely a plastic in the shiny thread, the blue and the white threads. I believe that's uh, cotton or something natural based. It smelled like the cotton burns. This one feels more polyester-y and it's got some shiny threads going through in two directions. It feels slippery, so I think this is gonna be all or mostly polyester. Oh, yeah. oh yep, she melty. Oh, yeah, it smells bad. Oh, I gotta stop smelling these plastic ones. Ooh, ooh, too hot. Don't touch it while it's hot. It's literally just melted plastic. It's good to know that the plastic ones don't crumble at all. So this is another tablecloth. It feels like a mixed fabric. It feels like there is some cotton in there, but it feels a bit polyester-y too. What do you think? Oh yeah. And there's some, oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. Not melting. It's Ooh. Oh, that's and a, it goes out in no That's no a time. bummer. Majority polyester. That might be all polyester. Ugh, disappointing. Cotton bed sheet, I think this is 50-50 polyester cotton. I don't want to sleep in plastic. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, woo, okay. Woo. The cotton's really, wow. really going in that one. I want to see how, how crunchy it is on the edges. Yeah, I don't know, that feels. It burned like cotton. Yeah, I think the tag said that it was 50-50. Another Thrift Town find. This feels linen-esque, it's a rough weave, probably cotton, but I guess we'll see if it has that sweet smell that the linen did. Then we'll know it's linen rather than cotton. Yeah, I think there's a bit of polyester in there. It's got kind of hard, but it does have crispies as well. So I think it's a mix. Nice blue shiny piece of something woven. <laughs> yeah, I think this has a lot of polyester in it. We'll see, it'll be nice if it's not polyester-y. Ooh, is it, whoa, no, it is burning. Okay, it took a second for that to light up, but once it got going, it went more like a natural fiber. It yeah, smells it smells like, ooh, it might be flax. It smells a little sweet. Flax, that might be linen. I'm gonna burn the other end again. It sort of burned like linen, I thought. Yeah, it took a while to go and then it really went and it kind of left a lot of the weave behind when it went out. That's interesting, very cool. Okay, this feels like a natural fiber, probably cotton or something. It's very thick. It's like a canvas material kind of. I thought it was folded in half. Wow. No, it's thick. really thick. Wow. Yeah, okay, let's see. Ooh. Took a second for it to light up. Save the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cotton. This kind of burned like the blue one, where it seemed to like leave a lot of the weave behind and burn kind of slowly. So I wonder if maybe I have trouble believing that's linen, but maybe a wool blend. I don't know. But then it didn't get, it didn't get crunchy like wool. Blend. Our last thrift town find also just a little bolt of fabric that was in there. I think this would be great for the brown Lizzie dress. What do you think? It's a it's a very coarse weave. Oh yeah. It feels soft and cottony. Yeah. So hopefully that would be comfy. Hopefully there's not plastic in there. Ooh, it's kind of another that looks like a natural fiber slow burn. Falls apart. Does that mean there's wool in there? Doesn't smell like hair. Something natural. That's nice, it's not crunchy at all, not melty at all. And last but not least, $5 bolt of mystery upholstery fabric from a place in Vacaville. Ooh, that's This thick. has got to that's be thick. majority plastic. It's the weirdest texture. It's, I'm sure it's got coatings on it and I probably shouldn't breathe it. Ooh, tiny bit of cotton in there, but it is melting as it goes. Quite a bit of plastic. Oh, show the other side. It's it's sort of bent over. This is the it most curled. noxious. <laughs> it's curled. She crunchy. Yeah. Most noxious. There's something natural in there, but there's a lot of unnaturalness in there. Shall we burn the? Oh, let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. Just so that you can hear the yes from this. Yes, yes, yes. The viewership. Okay, this one we know is polyester. Ooh, she melting. Ooh, 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 she's dangerous. Oh my gosh, it like ooh, yeah, that looks yucky. Danger. Well, that's fun. So, ladies and gents, natural fibers in your home will keep you safer. Oh, beautiful. Look at that pile of burned thrift store fabric haul. It's beautiful. Oh, we're gonna put the candle out. Safety first, kids. So, I don't know if this came off on camera, but I'm, I was doing a crunch test where you kind of grab 
the crunchy bit and rub it, because the plastic one beads up, but when you crunch it, it doesn't turn into dust. So that turned into, that turned into dust, the crunchy bits of this, when you rub them. And this is the very technical term. These are the protein crunchies. It's got, it's got protein in it and it beads up, but then it crunchies, protein crunchies. After burning everything, I decided to do additional bleach testing on a few samples which I thought might have some silk or wool content. This is supposed to be 100% wool. This burned as if it is a high percentage of wool. This is one I think might be silk. This seems like there might be wool or it might be polyester. We'll find out. This, I just don't know. So we're gonna do further testing. And this seems like it's probably canvas, but it's thick, so maybe wool? Sir, sir, feed me. For this test, I poured bleach into six non-reactive glass containers. Moment of truth. I believe it should start fizzing. I'm gonna stab it in. It's hydrophobic, that's for sure. Ooh, it is starting to get bubbly. That should be the reaction we're looking for with wool. Question mark is going in. That looks like it's kind of bubbling. It's harder to tell because it's a lighter fabric. that it's not hydrophobic. All right. Last one. The 100% wool sample got the bubbliest and reacted the most, followed next by the sample that seemed to be wool, but we didn't know exactly what it was. I left all of the samples in bleach for about 24 hours. Within the first hour, there was a lot of degrading on the two samples that I thought were wool, and what I thought was silk changed colors, but after it did that, it didn't change very much. The other three, besides changing color a little bit, didn't change at all over the 24 hours. I was convinced the purple fabric was secretly silk, so to test it, I cut another small piece off of the silk robe and put it in bleach with a piece of fabric that had changed the least, and that showed me that the purple fabric is in fact not silk because the real silk dissolved literally within 15 minutes. It was the quickest dissolving fabric of all the protein-based ones. These have been in the bleach since about three. And to everyone's great surprise, the wool, there's still a tiny bit left, but you can see how incredibly cloudy that bleach has gotten as the wool is, is um, having the chemical reaction and breaking down. Here's the mystery fabric that seemed to have a high wool content, and that seems correct. I'm really pleased with these results. I thought I was going to be dealing with a lot more plastic than I was in the end, but I did a pretty good job of finding at least a little bit of natural fiber in most of the things that I bought, and I can't believe that I found a significant majority of wool in something that I got for three dollars. Thank you, Thrift Town. Rest in peace. Let's just give a moment of silence for Thrift Town, the Ladybird Thrift Store. It truly was the best thrift store in all of Sacramento. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy sewing, cats, experimentation, and just general DIY shenanigans, stick around because there's more where that came from. And in the meantime, keep making. <laughs> the burning stuff in my room plan was uh, was vetoed. You know the cotton content when buying this, but it ended up being 30% cotton, 70% polyester. It betrayed me. I'm glad I have a, a side spritzer. Okay, now we have... <sighs> you can't pray spritz! Okay, we're gonna put that aside because we might have compromised the integrity of that burn test. So I just have to show everybody how dirty my hands got from touching all that. I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> burn them! Burn them! Important shenanigans. Pour one out for good.